Hello! So I'm just about to go out for the evening um, and I was already a bit early, which is so weird for me. I never, ever, ever am ready on time. So I thought I would do a little bit of filming of stuff that I've bought recently, like a recent purchases video. Um, I won't have time to do all of it because I have a spending problem. Um, so I will do the other half when I get to Antigua tomorrow. So half this video will be in Worthing and half it will be in Antigua. So to start with, I have just done a big shop on Miss Pap. I promised myself I wouldn't buy any more clothes because I don't need any more. Then I saw on Instagram that they had 100 um, knitwear pieces for under a tenner. So I went online, spent about 50 quid, didn't buy one piece of knitwear. So my first purchase was these. How amazing are they? They say um, girl power on them. And uh, I've been wanting some sliders for a little while, but I wasn't really into the whole fluffy slider thing. But these are beautiful. They were, I think they were pounds I haven't got the exact prices um because I found my dispatch note but it turns out it's just a returns note so I haven't got the prices I will write them all in the comments down below but I think they're about four pounds um so even if I just wear them once like I love them they are sparkly ah. so a little while ago um I had a dressing room built um which is next door just there um I'll show you around it in a minute and I threw away everything that wasn't well, what I deemed fabulous. So I threw away all my t-shirts and then I've realised that like, just to pop to Tesco's, I don't want to look fabulous all the time. So I've bought some new t-shirts. This is the first one, I'll just do this. So these are quite in at the moment, these sorts of t-shirts and uh, yeah, I love them. So I've got this one. I bought this which looks huge but I tried it on last night and it's actually it's actually okay um, it's got some little buttons up here which I wasn't sure about but they look quite nice when they're on it says Bonjour Paris, I think it's meant to be like a little dupe of Balmain put it down there oh these t-shirts they were all I think they were all like £10 each which I haven't bought my own clothes for, well no, I haven't bought t-shirts for a long time and I'm like £10 for a t-shirt because when my mum used to buy my clothes, that was when I used to buy t-shirts. I'm like, £10 for a t-shirt? Mate, that is like, don't like robbery. When am I ever going to wear it? Says she that will drop £40, £50, £60 on a dress that she will only wear once. This is the other one. It says, female future. It's got all like, edgy words like feminism and we should or... Oh, no, it doesn't say feminism. It says... We should all be feminists. Okay. Um, I I think we should get paid the same as men, but I still think that men should hold doors open and stuff. So, I'm a halfway feminist. I like this. I bought this because um, if I spent another £9, I could get free delivery. So I thought, okay, I'll spend another £12. So my final purchase from Miss Pat was a bit of an edgy purchase shall we say um i i saw it and i was like i must have that so i put it in the basket then i deleted it from the basket because i was like it's so not me and then i was like no try things that aren't you and it's come and it's it's a khaki jumpsuit with flared bottoms so yes not me um well is it not me i don't know but um, I tried it on yesterday and um, it's interesting, but I'm going to keep it because you have to like lift, sorry to go check, this lipstick, my absolute favourite, but goes with all of your teeth. Um, so yeah, I'm keeping it just in, like, well not just in case, but I'm going to make myself wear it. I also recently did a big order from uh, Missy Empire. Um, this dress included, I'll put the big picture up now of it. And also my new absolute favourite outfit that is currently in the wash because I've worn it so much. Um, here's a picture of it. And it's so Elle Woods and it's so fabulous and I love it with big fur gilet and like grey boots or black boots. And yeah, I just love it. So they were from um, Missy Empire. I saw them on um, Misha Grimes did a... Uh, 
Instagram live with them and I literally just was like yeah I have that outfit cool and then I saw this on there and I really liked it and also this I just stand out so the bottom is red flowers and then my boots have got red flowers on me probably just in my my nun which would not be ideal so I'll have to might have to edit that let me see if I can do the boots here oh, I can do the boots here so there you go Matching dress to boots, didn't even bind them together. Amy loves a cord, loves an embellished floral boot. Other recent purchases, you may have seen in every single Instagram post I've posted for the last like three weeks, I've got curls in, and that is because I have bought this, which is the Lee Stafford Rainbow Bubble Curling Wand. Um, it was £30 in sale, I've been wanting a curling wand for ages, and I saw it and I was like, yeah, I'll have it. I've done them a bit like looser today, um, but I normally do them like from the root, so that I just look like I've got huge hair. Um, but I absolutely love it. Now, when I decide I like something, um, I just buy hundreds of them in all different colours, and my new thing is tassel earrings. So I don't know where the rest of them actually are right now, but these I have in red and blue. And these are from Primark and they were two pounds because I was like, I'm not spending loads of money on tassel earrings because I'll never wear them because they're so not me. Anyway, so these ones, I've got them in, so the discs are gold on all of them and then the tassels are different colours. So I've got them in grey and gold, um, like the tassels are gold on the other ones um, and I'm going to get them in all the other colours. They're eight pounds from Accessorise and I was hoping they'd be in the sale but they're not. And then I bought these from Miss Pap. New ones. Um, these were five pounds in sale. I don't know whether to wear these tonight. Sorry, I'm checking the mirror. I think I need to wear the red ones tonight. Just to add a bit more color and to match the boots and the dress. And the thing I love about these is this, um, ear piercing is all dragged down on my ear um, but the thing with these are they're not heavy at all so they're really nice two more things that I've got to show you they are actually three more things I've got to show you these palettes I talked about this one in my worst makeup video ever post um, and I had to buy another one because I'd run out of all my favourite colours but for £6 you can't really go wrong and then this one is a W7 Blazing palette which is a dupe of the um, Naked Heat palette and I absolutely love it, it's so pigmented, I don't know if you can see on my eyes right now and yes I know they, they probably look awful but it's just how I do my makeup, you know me, more is more, less is less. Um, but literally so pigmented and um, my friend has got the, uh, the Heat palette and I swatched them together and they're literally the same so if you've got money to waste or you like to have the latest products that's fine get the naked one but if you want to spend 5.99 tk maxx for the same thing this is your girl and my last thing um it's a bit weird uh i got it on christmas morning and uh my mum was like it's not what you're expecting um and you might think it's a bit weird and i was like oh what okay opened it so i have a pandora charm um, has my granny's ashes in it. Um, basically, I don't have any of her jewellery because um, we don't know where it's gone. And uh, I wanted something like to have with me all the time. So mum got me like an ashes into glass, which you can have done. So this is like a little certificate that says that they are hers. Um, and you can have it done and you get like necklaces and rings and stuff. And they've just started doing the Pandora charms. And they're really nice. But I started winding my nan up saying that I was going to get a bracelet and just keep adding to it. And my nan was like that. Ah, so yeah, so I probably talked at about a thousand miles an hour um, the whole time I've been doing this video, but at least I've got it all done now, so I don't have to do anything in Antigua. So um, until next time, bye. No wait, I'm not going. I'm gonna show you around my dressing room. So this is my dressing room. It's not that tidy at the moment. Um, obligatory musical theatre posters all over the wall. My best one from here to eternity. Um, and nice big mirror, nice big ornate mirror. Um, I've got 
shoe racks that are missing lots of shoes because like, they're all packed into suitcases for trips. Shoes of my life. I love my shoe life. They're so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. Whoever said they were like slippers is lying. And then in here, just wardrobes. They're, they're my winter ones. This is all my long stuff. I've got like little boxes of stuff on top. And then my fascinators are right on the top. I've got nowhere else to put them. And this is my summer and my work stuff. And then this is a chest of drawers. And then that was meant to be to put handbags on top, but mum decided that it was too messy. And that's a little picture of me and Hannah. So that's my dressing room.